Good morning, everybody. Say hi, Pace. Hi. This is Paisley. She is one of our junior travel agents, and she is off school today, so she came with me into the Literary Travel Office. Um, as you may or may not know, we have an office, and we are based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but we have agents in multiple states, some of them including Ohio, New York, Arizona, South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, and oh, and uh, New Jersey. Excuse me if I'm forgetting everybody, but we do have in West Virginia. We have agents spread all um, over. But Paisley, I love to bring her live. We haven't done um, live videos in a while, but I love to come live with her because it gives the kids perspective on different things. And the one thing, the reason why we always mention the number of trips that we've had is because at our agency, we uh, pride ourselves on experience. Our agents are on site very frequently, and me as the director of sales, I am, uh, I don't personally service those reservations anymore, but I help lead our team and grow our team, and I also travel for um, business and pleasure, but we won't ever, I'm on a personal vacation, it's to destinations that we specialize in. So we're always gaining uh, first-hand knowledge and experience for our clients. That's our goal. So Paisley has been to, since the pandemic, to Universal at least 10 times. I mean, at least. I think you've been 12 there. Times. I was going to say 12 times. Is that what it is? So she goes to Universal almost as much as me. And the only times that she's not with me is usually whenever I'm on a business trip. So what we want to do today, and, and some of this is going to be opinion. What we're going to talk a little bit about is Paisley's way to you do Universal, her favorite resorts. Again, for that kid's point of view, but keeping in mind that we are not naive to the fact that this is still just our opinion. There is no right or wrong way to do Universal. It's similar to Disney in that sense. Everybody has different styles and tastes and, of course, budget. Um, but we like to just give a realistic perspective. Uh, so this is going to be Paisley's opinion um, on to do with things. And uh, Paisley, tell everybody what your favorite Universal Resort property is. My favorite is Portofino. That's it, Portofino Bay. Bay. Yeah. And um, I don't remember. The one where Pacific with the sushi. Pacific. <laughs> yeah. She goes by the sushi. Even like when we talk about Disney World, she talks about, um, she calls the Grand Floridian the White Hotel. And that comes down from the time that she was a toddler and she couldn't say Floridian, so she used to call it the White Hotel. But it's sort of, it's what we still call it, huh? Just yeah. because it's it's that. So um, Royal Pacific is known as the Sushi Hotel um, because that's where our, my kids, all three, love sushi. Um, and there is a great sushi restaurant right in the lobby of Royal Pacific. And sometimes I forget the name, so I just call it that. Now, my kids know from their frequent visits that a must-have for us is the Express Pass. So they have learned that certain hotels don't come with the Express Pass. So... Tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that a big reason that you like Portofino Bay in Royal Pacific is because you get the Express Pass free, right? And they have a cool pool, and um, it's just fun there. Yeah, it is fun there. Um, uh, Portofino Bay is uh, popular for um, a lot of adults and children alike because they have a zero-entry pool, they have a playground, they have a water play area, they have really nice cabanas for rent, and it's always great service. It seems like such a small thing. When people talk about going to Universal, the first thing on their mind is usually not what's the service like at the pool. But when we do trips to Disney and Universal, we built, we built in a lot of downtime. And not necessarily on purpose, but when you have the Express Pass, you can do everything that you want to do in a day and still have full time. So we'll, for example, get to the park at 7 a.m. when they open for early hours and can be finished with everything we want to do by 1 p.m. And that gives us the rest of the day for pool time. So in our eyes, um, it, it, sometimes we do pool days, too, where we have just cabanas, right? Yeah. Well, that's another thing. So we'll talk about cabanas in a minute, especially when it comes to not resorts, but Volcano Bay. A lot of people skip the cabana, but there are so many reasons to get a cabana. So what is there any resorts, because I know already before asking you this, I know there are certain resorts that we've stayed at, like Surfside, which is their value resort, and also um, Cabana Bay, which is popular and cute. We like the theming, right? We like the bowling alley, but she's giving right. me a look. Share what you did not. Last year we spent, um, we put in debt, we booked a trip last minute, they were filled up, we had to spend one night, or two nights, whatever. Three. Was it? Two nights, and then three. Well, anyway, three we had, to, so we had to stay at Cabana Bay, and we thought, okay, not a bad thing. I had toured it before on business trips, but I hadn't stayed there personally, so it was an opportunity for us to try it out for our clients. And we know a lot of people like
like it because I will say this the theming is cute um, before I give an opinion I like to get Paisley's opinion because it gives me the more realistic view so I'm not swaying her with my opinions of staying there um, so we'll let Paisley share her opinion why did you not care for um, Cabana Bay first thing um I had a headache, and <laughs> it... Well, that's not the bad baseball. Well, yeah. <laughs> but it put a damper on your mood. Yeah, I get it. and um, I just didn't like it. It was giving me creepy vibes, and... <laughs> <laughs> what? It was. And I just didn't like it there. The pool was fun. I just didn't like it, though. But what did you like about it? I think I know some of the reasons. So I think one of the reasons, like you said, the pool was fun, but it was really crowded. Yeah. Really crowded. Remember? And there's, you know, like, a bunch of people there. It's really loud. And then, like, the TV is, like, loud. And you had to wait really long for the water slides. Yes. And it was, like, the pool was, like, really crowded. And it was so, there's, like, so many rooms that it feels like, it is really crowded that you can't even move. Sometimes that happens, and that's not just a universal thing, that's a Disney thing. When you get some of these larger properties, and especially the ones that are um, cheaper in price, they tend to be more crowded. Uh, so it takes a, it can take away from the, the experience. And I, just based on the things she says, and she said it in a way a 10-year-old would, but from my perspective uh, as a travel advisor, I would say that that's something to keep in mind, that whenever you have, whether it's a larger resort as far as the number of rooms, or because of the way it's laid out, or even time of year, it can take away from that experience when you're searching for a place to sit by the pool. Or, for example, we try to go into, they have their Lazy River, which is really cute. It's a small little Lazy River right but at the resort. But it's really cool. But it's really cool. Well, yes, and it was really crowded. I mean, crowded to the point where it's not very fun and relaxing because you're, you're elbow to elbow with people. So those are just things to keep in mind when you're thinking about resort. Another um, feedback that we've gotten from not only other travel advisors at the agency, but also from our clients is that at Cabana Bay, two things that really stood out that were a, a con, um, and that was the line to check in. So a lot of people say, it's just a room, I want the cheaper price, this seems cute for the value, but your t the way I always like to say it to people is your time has a value. So for example, when you're at Portofino Bay, I've never waited longer than 10 minutes to check in. But when we were at Cabana Bay, we waited an hour and 20 minutes just to check in, in the line to check in. And we even checked in ahead of time. That was for the line that if you pre-registered online. The line was even longer if you didn't pre-register. So there was other families there at that same time that we stayed that said they waited over two hours just to check in. Again, maybe if you're, and we're talking, assuming that you have the budget, and that you you just are trying to see the value and why you might want to upgrade to a premier resort. So number one, that express pass being free, so you're skipping lines at the park. Number two, the line to check in. Number three, the biggest complaint that we get from our clients, and me and Paisley experienced this, was the food court. Just to go in the morning to, for example, if you just wanted to get, I don't know. Like a salad. Or a toasted salad. eggs. Yeah, you're waiting. Like 10 minutes. Well, but that's, that's 10 minutes. That was just to get the grab and go. The, the line, we didn't even attempt to wait in the line to actually get food. So the bottom line is that you, you know, those are things that a lot of people aren't taking into consideration when booking a room. They're looking at it and saying, oh, this is a cute resort and this is cute theming and, and this is a great price. But they're maybe not considering that they're going to wait an hour to get breakfast, you know. So those are just things we like to share with our experience that for us, that was huge. That was a game changer. Now, to a person who maybe doesn't plan on spending any pool time or, I don't know, maybe you're going to pack Pop-Tarts in your room, those things might not concern you, and that's great. But for us, that was a real game changer in our um, experience at the resort. Uh, and and there, there's other things, too, and it's funny, because I used to think only because of uh, myself being a frequent traveler that I noticed them, but even bedding. The bedding and the mattresses are huge among the resorts. So the, the least expensive resorts seem to have the um, not as comfortable of mattresses and really thin bedding, versus if you go to a deluxe resort like Portofino Bay, you're getting the huge, thick, cloud-like comforters and the, the pillows, pillows. The pillows are and so the mattresses. Soft. Yeah, I mean, even my teenagers have said, let's go to the hotel with the best beds. So, you know, there's other, the point I'm trying to make is there's other things to consider outside of just price and theming. 
Um, and those are the dependent details that, that your agent can help you with. And again, some people, they might not care. They might say, you know what, that has no relevance. But for a person who's spending a week-long trip, who likes their rest and wants to sleep in, that could be that could be a huge factor. And again, it's how you vacation, and that's part of what our travel advisors will do too, is ask you not only have how you've done Universal in the past, because again, if you go to Universal 100 times and never use an agent, we want you to use us. We partner with Universal. You're going to pay the same or less because we'll promo watch and try to add that promo after you book. But we also run all payments through their system. We don't use a third-party system. We don't take your money. All your payments still go through Universal. The difference is we're one contact. So let's say you have a change to your reservation, you have a question, anything like that, you reach out to your literary travel advisor versus have to do call on the phone and getting a call center employee. So that's the biggest difference with having an advisor. And again, on the, on the front end, we get to know your family. We'll ask you questions like, how do you vacation in the past? Let's say you've never been to Universal. We can't ask you, hey, where did you like to stay? What did you like and not like about this resort? What did you like and not like about your package? Um, but if you've never been, we might ask you questions like, what type of hotels did you stay at the pa in the past? What are you looking to get out of your trip? Are you looking to do the most and save the most time? Are you looking for the cheapest price? Because again, that could be a huge difference. Cheapest price, I can get you there, you know, in, in, for cheaper, but it doesn't mean that you're going to have that same experience. So just things we want to share today. Give Paisley's realistic picture. If you have any questions, reach out and let us know. We hope you'll visit Universal. It's been awesome through, we were there when the, remember the yellow lines on the ground when you set to stay six feet apart in line? Mm -hmm. And they squirted sanitizer into your hands before you boarded, and you had to wear masks all the way to the point now where those things have gradually moved away, right? So things seem pretty normal. Mm -hmm. We liked it even during the pandemic, though, because we felt, um, you know, if our world's in a pandemic and that's the way we have to vacation and be there, we'll do it. Um, so we still had a ball even during all the restrictions. But things are back to normal as much as we can tell at Universal, right? Go ahead. You want to say something? Yeah. So, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait. There you go. What? Wait. So even if, like, a travel agent doesn't answer your call if you try to ask them questions, most likely in um, one business day they will get back with you. Good point, right? <laughs> our agents are all really good about that. One of the things feedback I get um, is that our team is really responsive, and so that's true. Even if, you know, they're not call center employees, so our agents aren't going to necessarily, you know, answer right that second, they might be helping another client. We actually have thousands upon thousands of clients. Thank, we are so thankful for that. Um, but they do always get back within one business day. And then, um, you know, I who back them up, you can always reach out to our agency. Uh, we have an 800 number, a nationwide toll-free, 1-833-4 Mickey. You can always ask messages on this page. And no matter which of our advisors you book with, feel free to reach out to, to me as well um, on our agency page or on this group, and we'll answer any questions. It doesn't matter who you booked with. We're happy to help. So thanks for watching Paisley and I's video today of our opinion. I share the same opinions as Paisley. Um, maybe it's because she's vacationed with me all these years and she's gotten used to it, right? But we always talk about how she and I, even with my other children, have the similar vacation style. So um, thanks for watching us today. Say thank you. Say thank thanks you. for watching our group page. And if there's anything that we could talk about, not just us, but any of our team members that we could show you, we actually have agents right now in Universal. We have clients right now in Universal. So if you want to see anything specific or ask any questions, always do so. If we don't know an answer, we have a, a inside sales team at Universal Orlando that actually um, supports the backs up our agency. So we'll go right to the horse's mouth so you're not getting an answer from your neighbor who's maybe been there once five years ago or a group where you know misinformation might go around. If we're not 100% sure that answer, we're gonna go to the source for you right at, at Universal. So we're thankful for that partnership and we're thankful for your business and your support and have a great day. Bye. Bye.